Leo and welcome to your September tarot reading. Thank you so much for your patience and for your support. Make sure to like and subscribe, of course. This is the best way to support me. Let's start right away, Leo. I want to pick your general energy for this month before starting the reading. What is the general energy for Leo in September 2022? Leo. Okay. What do we have here? Look at that. This is your energy, Leo, the sun card. To me, right away, I think about you. I think about the heart space. I've been thinking a lot about the sun card since, you know, we just ended your season not too long ago. The sun is, of course, the most love card in the tarot by so many. It represents finding happiness, you know, riding the waves and then enjoying when there's a moment of happiness in your life. Because, of course, happiness is not it's not just a straight line. And to me, this is really about not all good or bad when there is a time in your life that is a little bit more difficult. How are you making space in your heart for better days to come. There's just this positive energy around the sun card that feels good. Uh, but it can be a lot also, you know. I always think about my worst sunburn every time I see this card. And I'm like, okay, there is definitely something about protecting yourself energetically, making sure that, again, you let yourself enjoy the moments of happiness but not necessarily focus on just trying to find that because everything you know needs to be balanced in a way but there's so much about this card i feel like it is such a mysterious energy because i learn something about this card almost every day so what is the sun wanting to tell leo for september There's an energy of liberation, freeing yourself from something energetically. It's been maybe a little bit heavy, a little bit overwhelming. See, this is it, the Nine of Swords. I feel like the sun can be about that. Finally seeing clearly in a situation, finally getting the answers that you deserve. In the recent past, there's been a lot of uncertainty. There's been a lot of question, maybe stress over a situation it can be um something connected to love you're about to get clarity if you've been waiting for communication this is definitely a good sign really interesting that we have the nine of swords and then the ace of swords kind of adding up together and creating this releasing energy that i've been feeling so i like that a change of perspective a new beginning also when it comes to how your mind and your thoughts impact your happiness or the decision that you're making. With the Two of Cups, this is of course water energy, but I always love this little Leo lion head here with the wings. I think that this is a really important card for you. Learning to put yourself first in situation where you would usually give yourself completely away. A much more balanced energy when it comes to love also, your self-love and love for others. There's something that feels even. There's something that feels fair. It could be connecting with someone new, but it could definitely be reconciliation. Again, if you've been waiting for communication, I think that uh, September will bring a lot of answers and a lot of clarity, and that's why the sun is here. There's going to be this huge moment of happiness, but again, is it your ego happy that this person is texting you back, is, you know, coming back in your life? There's definitely something, because right away we had the nine of swords. See, yeah, I knew it. There's someone coming in. There's going to be communication coming your way. 
Leo, in the month of September. We have the Empress. You've been attracting that. It's definitely a time where you feel ready to receive what you've been manifesting. It can be true love. It can be a sincere friendship. It can be an apology. It could be anything. What I know with the Empress, Eight of Wands, Ace of Swords, Two of Cups. Listen, this is really powerful. I know that there's a change in energy happening around you. Devil in the Reverse and Chariot. A lot of major cards coming up. So the Chariot is about what's holding you. Because we're not talking about the Charioter. We're talking about what is holding you. What is keeping you stuck. There could have been something connected to your desires, something that has been a little bit overwhelming, trying to make sense out of the feelings you have for someone else or uh, the feelings, you know, you're experiencing around an unfair situation that happened in the past. I think you've been through a lot, Leo. It feels like in the recent past, there was someone... That was always giving you just enough so you stay attached to them. And I think that there's an important message here. You're finding happiness somewhere else in the month of September. This is what I'm getting. I really can't wait to clarify because I need more clarity around that. Page of Sword and Three of Wands. Saying yes to yourself. Taking control of, again, your thoughts. Sometimes we experience a lot of intense waves of emotions, a lot of ups and downs. Again, I know that you've been through a lot energetically, emotionally. Um, you're taking control of your life. You want stability. You want fun. You want to enjoy your life. And I feel like, again, someone kind of made you feel stuck for a long time. And now you're kind of graduating energetically with the chariot card here. Being real with yourself. Being able to see clearly like someone in someone's games or someone, you know, what they've been telling you that might not have been true. I think that you really know what you want, Leo. I think that you love yourself enough to not let any person mess with you. Um... There's a lot going on. This is going to be a big month for you. This is going to be a big month. I know that you're moving forward. I know that you're moving on. You're saying yes to yourself. And even if it feels uncomfortable, you're going to be saying no, I believe, to someone that has been playing games in the past. I don't know. You're going to get the answers that you, you needed and wanted, but... I think that you're definitely seeing someone's true colors. It's not going to work with you anymore. You don't want to settle for less. You're definitely stepping into your power here with the emperor, the emperor, sorry, um at the bottom of the deck. Something about your boundaries so clear. I feel like you are taking control of your life especially your love life, by making a clear decision when it comes to who you are letting in. Something important here. We have the magician, the queen of cups. Yeah, it's not easy what you're doing. The work that you're doing on yourself, Leo, it is profound work. You've been digging deep into the most vulnerable parts of yourself. Water energy is not something you're necessarily comfortable with. You've been getting out of your comfort zone. Again, saying no to whoever needs to get away from you. It's There's a little battle here between what your heart wants, what your ego wants. There's something here. I think, seeing what I'm seeing, that you've been enjoying kind of this um, instant gratification. The, the times where you've been reconnecting with this person in the past or saying yes giving second chances maybe you know three four chances to people who don't necessarily deserve you um if you're a cross watcher guys this isn't your reading 
you know, I say it in all my readings, if you are a cross washer and you're here to hate on Leo, it's not my job to make you feel better. I'm so sorry, but this is a reading for Leo. So you've been doing the work. You've been trying to transform uh, when it comes to the way that you receive love, the way that you give love. You want to feel comfortable in a relationship. And again, you don't want to burn yourself out completely. Give yourself away completely because you do that a lot, Leo. You are a giver. I don't care what anyone says. Leo gives. You guys are so generous. You always want your friends to thrive. You're going to do anything to help the people you love. But sometimes people can take advantage of you, especially in relationship. I've seen that so many times with um, my Leos out there. Um, people, you know, giving you again just a little bit so you stay attached to them and you want to help them. You want to save them. You want to be that person that will change them. Listen, if you're connecting with that message and there's someone that has been on your mind for so long, someone that has been, you know, really in and out, hot and cold, can be a twin flame, can be a past lover, an ex, whatever it is, um, I think that you know in your heart that this should be over, that this is too much, that this person doesn't deserve you. But your ego wants that instant gratification. Your ego wants this, you know, you, it feels like a part of you wants to know like, okay, they're still thinking about me. Of course, Leo, they're still thinking about you. I don't think they can give you what you deserve. And again, this message is not gonna be for everyone. And I'm glad to see that you're standing in your power. And I saw the emperor at the bottom of the deck. I see the empress here. To me, this is a power couple. And we've seen the two of cups here, three of wands, eight of wands, sun, magician. You have everything you need in this present moment to start over, start fresh. And this is exactly what you're going to do. And I think that by being clear with the fact that you're done with someone playing games with you, someone that definitely took your kindness for weakness, Leo, the moment you're clear with that, there's a door opening to either a power couple or to kind of heal a relationship that is still existing if you are in a relationship, but you've been dealing with someone from the past, someone that's been in and out. Uh, I, I don't necessarily want to talk about a third party situation, but I feel like, Leo, there could be more than one person uh, that you have feelings for. Or, I don't know. Your heart space is huge. It's open. It's powerful. You are ruled by the heart chakra as a Leo. You have a lot of love to give. But that doesn't mean that everyone who is trying to take love, time, energy from you deserves it. And that's a huge lesson that's coming up in September for you. And that's why the Empress is here. King of Swords, Four of Swords, King of Pentacles. What did I just say? You're standing in your power. You're not going to waste your time draining yourself and giving your precious energy and precious love away to just the people who aren't worth it. I don't know why it's coming up so strongly that this is kind of the challenge for you this month. There is a really difficult um, relationship that you've been in and out of. Something that is in the past, I feel it's in the past, but it's still very present in your mind. Uh, you could be dreaming about this person. They definitely dream about you. They're definitely trying to pull you in. And this doesn't have to be about romance or love. It can be uh, for an old friendship, a uh, family member, I don't know. It's, it's a relationship that just, it's never been fair. You drained yourself. You gave too much of yourself away. And I feel like now you're prioritizing yourself and seeing clearly who really cares for you. Um, 
I think that you are unstoppable when it comes to the growth, when it comes to whatever you're starting in the month of September will definitely evolve really fast. If you've been intuitively, you know, energetically feeling like you need to focus on work, you need to focus on a specific project, listen to that. Because I feel like in September, if you start a new project, something that you're passionate about, something that excites you, something that makes you happy um, when you're doing it, it's going to be expanding really fast. I think that there's a lot of, yeah, good opportunities. Queen of Swords, again, we have a lot of power couple energy here. And with the Three of Cups, it feels like your guides, your angels have been sending someone your way. Someone who is meant to be with you. Uh, if you're not looking for love, it could be someone that can help you build a business, help you get to the next level of something. I don't know, but I definitely feel like there's a past energy that is trying to get back. And this is kind of at the center of this month's energy for you. The challenge and the lessons this month is all about your self-love, self-worth, how you receive love, how you give it, your limits, your boundaries. And you know, again, who are you open, open up to? Who are you letting in? Emperor. Yeah, this is it. It wanted to come out. I talked a lot about that. I have a, a Facebook community with the people, you know, the Terra family and people from YouTube that came there. And the emperor was the card of the day today. And there was something coming up for me intuitively, which is um, walls are... I don't know. I don't know why it's it's telling me that this isn't about that. I feel like the emperor right now as I'm looking at your reading, is about this fiery new beginning because this is Aries, is the first sign of the zodiac. I was about to say the sentence that I've been saying all day and writing down all day and journaling on, and this is this is not for you, Leo. So the emperor for you right now is definitely connected to this power couple energy. If you're single, September is definitely a month where there will be new communication, new opportunities to meet someone, go on a first date, getting to know them, feeling like this feels real, this feels good. And then um, there's this, again, fiery new beginning with this Aries energy. I like that. It gets me really excited. I'm kind of at loss for words right now. New communication, new beginning, an opportunity. And if you are in a relationship, but you've connected to that, either that third party energy or having someone still really present in your mind, uh, in your energy from the past, I feel like you're releasing them, being clear with your boundaries. Um, everything that you give access, access to you you know, anything. It's not just about love again. It's not about just exes. It changes. You're so aware of how people can drain you, how people can take advantage of your kindness. This is over. And again, that's why the Empress is here. But a lot of things are coming up. This reading feels not necessarily overwhelming, but I'm hearing so many things. I think that in the month of September, Leo, you're going to be deepening, strengthening your relationship with spirit, with your guides, your ancestors, and make sure that you are clear with your intentions, when your intentions, and ask for what you want out loud. There's something about using your voice and speaking out loud, especially if you're asking your guides, your angels, the universe for something. You're going to get a clear sign this month. It's going to be really overwhelming and it's going to bring a lot of happiness and clarity because there's a specific wish that you have and they're going to give it to you. They're going to bring you what you want. It's just a matter of how are you communicating that to spirit, to your guys. There's something here. 
There's something about your intuition that just, it wants to take over this reading. And it's weird. It's weird because I, you know, if you know me a little bit, you know I don't. Um, I'm not looking for my words so much, searching for my words so much. There's something here. Uh, sometimes when I feel that way also, there could be the person you're connecting with speaks a different language. There's something about that here. Um, be aware of the signs and definitely make sure that you are listening, that you are checking in with yourself. And again, that you're using your voice. If you're making any type of ritual, if you're making any type of demand to spirit, speak it out loud, you know? Use your voice. Really, really important. Let me pick some oracle cards for you. There's a lot of people's energy around you. There's a lot of freaking energy all around you. And it feels like there's going to be a breaking point where you're like, this is too much. I need a break. I need to block. I need to unfollow. I need to. I need to breathe. And I said it in the beginning, the sun can be really overwhelming. And I think that there's a lot of work around that also this month for you. Confidence is your key to success. New moon and Leo. This is definitely about release. New moon and Leo to me is a lot about that. Releasing the things that make you doubt yourself. Because you are confident. You are um, probably the most confident in the zodiac. It's not doesn't mean that you're you know you're always the most confident and that nothing is ever shaking you up but again there's someone that made you doubt yourself and that's just not going to work with you anymore because you know who you are and you know what you want and you know what you deserve and you know that blessings are coming to you a new romantic cycle begins you know this is it this is it i've been feeling it I'm not a fan of doing love reading and having reading focused on another person, but this is so powerful. And again, I've been kind of confused with my words. There's going to be something new coming up, a fiery new beginning. And this is kind of my confirmation that the emperor wasn't about what happened to me earlier today. It was definitely different for you. This is the fiery new beginning that comes in after you're releasing this person that's been in and out in your life. They brought a lot of stress in your life, a lot of doubt, uncertainty. I'm not saying there's no beauty. I feel like everything that was beautiful, it's in the past. And it's not coming with you in this in this new life. Uh, there it's definitely memories that you have with that person, some good, some bad. But what's coming up next is on another level. And you're slowly but surely opening up to that. So, Leo, this was all over the place. That reading is just, there's something different. Again, I feel like a lot of you are going to have clear signs from your guides. Um, make sure to be aware. Um when you're asking something, are you noticing something weird, you know, in nature? Are you seeing uh, two butterflies together, some type of bird? You can ask for a clear sign also. But again, use your voice. Say it out loud. Who cares if you look a little bit, you know, weird or crazy? Uh, <laughs> sometimes I do that when I have people with me. Um, I just speak out loud and it always bring me the most clarity and, and the clearest answers it's, it's definitely important so enjoy this is a big month for you huge lessons a lot of new communication a lot of people's energy around you but i think that again the work you do with boundaries is definitely going to serve you well this month and things are going to get easier and more comfortable as the month unfold so enjoy leo take care of yourself Bye.